October 24th and it looks like winter came overnight. The old GMC is none too eager to get out in that snow, I can't blame it. for us but uh, hopefully it's going to melt and disappear this is a bit of a shortcut to the north field hopefully I can get back up this steep little hill keep in mind this is just a two-wheel drive truck with uh, well-worn grip tires on the back. All right, one eight. Not all that deep yet. But 20 degrees is gonna be a little slippery. I guess I'll have to end this one. This battery is not lasting at all. It was 90 some percent when I left the house. I've done basically nothing with it and uh, it's given me low battery warning. In fact, it shut right down when I turned the camera on here. Anyway, I'm in the field. The old GMC pulled through the snow and stubble with no problem whatsoever. I do have a little bit of fuel in the tank in the back for weight, plus the air compressor. So anyway, I want to check that fence there's some really, well, pretty much non-existent fence back there in those trees. I was in there back in the fall earlier and it's pretty much inaccessible to do any serious repairs. So what I'm thinking is maybe run a temporary fence from here across the corner over to there where it's basically open and uh, maybe electrify it if necessary. There's really no reason for them to go in there. There's nothing whatsoever worth eating, but knowing cattle, they will find their way in and wander out. Anyway, better get to work here. Cold on the hands, battery's dying. Later. Okay, fence is patched up. Hopefully they won't bother it. They haven't even found their way up here yet. quite a bit they could eat up here. They can forage around here for hopefully the best part of November. This battery is showing 10% so it could stop at any time. traction test here to see if I can climb this little hill. They don't get much of a 